Hey, I'm Denny Chapman and welcome to The Gun Show. We have a very special episode today with our special guest, firearms expert Elvis Ray, and our featured product, the FK Bruno Field Pistol, available exclusively at Big Daddy Unlimited. I am super excited about today's episode because occasionally we come across some extremely rare and collectible firearms that are very special. The FK Bruno Field Pistol is one of those guns. We're going to bring in our firearms expert, Elvis Ray, in just a moment to take a closer look and help me explain to you why you have the opportunity of a lifetime to own this very special gun. All right, Elvis. Hi. Elvis, thanks for Hi, joining Charles us, brother. Elvis. Thanks for having we me on. We appreciate you. Now, we've got a really special, very special uh, firearm here. Uh, and this is, um, this is a unique opportunity to talk about a firearm that you're just not going to find in your local gun store. Now, I realize this gun is special, but how would you explain to our viewers why this gun has so much collector's value? All right, well, first of all, let's start off where it all began. It began in the city of Brno, and if you all, if you know anything about your history, Brno is known for its gunsmithing. Throughout all the wars over the years and everything like that, there's one thing that stayed the same, and that is the gunsmiths from there. They go back from generation to generation to generation. So obviously, when the owner wanted to create this platform, what better place than Brno, which is located in the Czech Republic, to make this done. So, so that's where he decided to have it produced because that was the best in the world. So anywhere in Europe, when you hear that a gun was manufactured in Brno, they know it's manufactured by the, get, the best gunsmiths. Yeah, and I have um, had the unique opportunity to shoot a lot of different firearms throughout my right. career. Uh, CZs, for instance, have been some. This isn't the right. CZ, but it, you know, I, what I'm saying that is because I recognize the value and the quality that goes into checkmate guns. It's like cars made in Germany. It's Absolutely. Like they take pride, uh, a lot of pride in it, and they're very well known for it. How many of these were made? So I'm glad you asked. And that's what makes this gun so exclusive. The fact that this gun was designed around the round, which is our proprietary 7.5 millimeter. All right. So what happened was is that the owner is a ballistic specialist and the 7.5 round back when it was first developed was an impossible round to make. They were thinking this round can go 2000 feet per second and hit you with about 850 pounds of pressure. And that's the muzzle velocity, 2,000 feet per that second. Is, that is. Of a 7.5 millimeter projectile. That's correct. Wow. And 95 <laughs> grain. Yeah. So, I mean, you can just imagine, you're literally getting the power of a rifle in a handgun, which seemed just impossible. But the ingenuity of the owner and, and the development of his crew and engineers were able to design this platform in a handgun and make it possible. So, obviously, he spared no expense when it came to it. He wanted to prove everybody wrong by designing this round. Hmm. And by doing that, that's where the FK field pistol came into play. So with that being said, he proved everybody wrong because he designed this pistol and he spared no expense and had it made by the best gunsmiths in the world. So there were a thousand originally made. Where did those guns, how many are out there? Where are they? So there were only a thousand made and 500 stayed in Europe and 500 came to the United States, and that's it. And uh, ex it's an exclusive BDU product. So that's those it. that are available in the United States, you can only buy them through Big Daddy Unlimited, the FK Bruno field pistol. So we talked about, you explained a little bit about this round. And you know, I, do my re I have to do my research when I go out and I have the opportunity to shoot these guns and tell folks about them. So this round, well the gun, the gun itself it's kind of, correct me if I'm wrong, it was kind of a replacement for a short to mid-range carbine. Would that be correct? Uh, yeah, actually it is. That's okay, correct. so we got this uh, 
FK round, and that's the caliber, right? That's correct. 7.5 FK. And so I, I want to make sure I understand this. And when I was shooting it, uh, we we're going to show a little video of me playing with this gun and having some uh, great experience with the FK Renault field pistol. But uh, the round itself was designed to be like basically an AK round at 100 meters, have that ballistic, that terminal ballistics, and uh, is that right? So yeah, the story behind the field pistol was once it was developed and everything like that, uh, what it was designed for was every uh, for people that were involved with executive protection, security forces that were overseas. Because what they found was is that when, when you're overseas or when you're in the battlefields or anything like that, you have your primary and then you have your secondary. Okay? Right. Your primary is usually your rifle, or, you know, and then you have your secondary, which is your handgun. Right. Now, if your, your primary goes down, then you could always revert to your secondary. Well, I know when I was overseas, I had you know, my 5.56 M4, and then I had a transition if I needed to, to what? A nine mil, right. maybe a forty-five caliber. Mm -hmm. Well, we all know if you're a veteran or if you've been overseas or in any kind of that kind of scenario, transitioning from a five-five-six to a nine millimeter is not probably the best thing, yeah. because something went wrong with your primary, or you're out of rounds and it's just quicker to just go ahead and yeah. And your nine millimeter is not going to have those ballistics. You're exactly. going to have a lot of holdover. You can only go so far. You're only going to have so much terminal ballistics. So at a hundred meters, we still have what, about 1,500 feet per second exactly. velocity right. going. So just a, a really very uh, unique round. Now, I had the opportunity to shoot this gun. I took it out to the range yesterday. I put it through the paces. I wanted to see if it lived up to its reputation and the things that I read about this. So um, I expected to shoot this gun. I wanted to take a 100-meter shot. I wanted to see if it had the recoil impulse of a 40 cal right. because of the special recoil system. We'll talk, dig into that right. a little more later. And uh, I just put it to the test. So check out this video of my experience with the FK Bruno field pistol. No field pistol, 100 yards. First time ever, 100 yards, not rested with a pistol. This thing is the bomb. It was really exciting. That's great. To ring a steel target at 100 meters at such a long distance. Uh, with this pistol. The first time I had taken an unsupported, open-sided shot at that distance with a pistol, and it was absolutely uh, awesome. Now, I was naturally able to use these sights, and we're going to manipulate this gun a little bit. And when we do, guys, we want to remind you guys of a little bit of gun safety. So I'm going to lock the slide back, and I always like to check twice visually and physically. No magazine, empty chamber. Magazine is out. Chamber is empty. I want to talk about these sights a little bit, Elvis, because they are quite unique. What are these called? So those are our proprietary butterfly sights. So uh, essentially, as you look at these sights, you can see there's a, it's basically a peep sight, and then we have a high-vis red dot. And when I took my shot, I don't even know if I did it right, but I hit it. So I put that red dot right in the middle of the peeps, and that's uh, right how I was able to hit my target. Correct, correct. So what makes these sights unique is the fact that this gun is designed for long distance shooting, obviously. So in order to do that, you're going to need to maintain a small, a very small uh, a front sight. And that's obviously because depending on what your target is, if you have your regular front sight, uh, standard sight that you're used to on, uh, on regular handguns, and you put it up and you try to visualize that 100 yard target, you're not going to be able to see it. You're going to cover it with your right, front sight. Exactly. Yeah. So, so we minimized the front sight, and then we made it to where the rear sight actually has that pinhole to where it's it's like literally putting the thread through the needle, and you're able to go ahead and see the front sight, 
the rear sight, and obviously your target. And that's exactly what worked for me. And the first time I looked through these sights, I realized, hey, I'm going to be able to have a little bit better pinpoint accuracy at longer yards because I understand the the uh, the elements behind long distance shooting as I've been fortunate to shoot a lot of different disciplines and things uh, throughout the years. So let's talk about this recoiler system because when you pick this gun up the first thing you notice is man this looks like a space gun. Looks like it should have been in Star Wars and right. one of these um, sci-fi movies got this huge area below the barrel. Now I know that this is where the proprietary recoil system is housed. How would you describe that recoil system? So that's our recoil mitigation system. And basically it's a weighted front front end of the of the firearm. And the reason it is is because the way it's gonna actually come back at you, mm -hmm. like a 44 Magnum, which pretty much everybody compares this to, is when you're shooting a 44 Magnum, most of the weight is on the back of the weapon. Right. So when you have that recoil, what's gonna happen is that recoil is gonna come back right. and back up. Well, the way this design is if you take the gun apart, the frame is gonna be very light and mm -hmm. all the weight is gonna be on the slide and to the front of the weapon. Right. So when you take your shot, that actually it's going to recoil back into. That's exactly what I experienced because right. I, you know, I shoot a lot of nine. I do a lot of action pistol Correct. and stuff. I get muzzle flip, mm -hmm. but I noticed I had some uh, very uh, lateral movement Correct. with the slide, which I was very happy with. And it also gives you faster target acquisition right. because you're not coming up and then back on your target. Quicker, yeah, follow-up shots. Exactly. 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 Uh, another thing I appreciate about this was this is, I, I don't feel any plastic. No. I feel a, a good solid steel framed gun. I've shot a lot of polymer guns. I'm not right. going to. I don't want to knock the polymer guns. There's a purpose for them. There's well, a reason for them. But this is not right. one of those. So let's talk about this construction and this the the uh, the way this is made. And it's uh, steel. So this is all billeted all out of the same block of steel. And that's where you're going to notice that. I mean, when you work that slide and when you work that action, it's it's like glass because I have to I have to cut you off and tell you yes yes I I love the way this feels. I immediately felt the fit and finish, and I even I imagine I'll put this close to my microphone. When you just when you listen to that sound of the slide on the frame, it's got such a good fit and a smooth feel. It's absolutely amazing and I just I had to say that because I have experienced that and I knew my first shot I actually before my first shot when I manipulated this gun for the first time and did a press check just felt that slide I felt that the quality you're talking about right now well and it, because these weren't mass produced so they were able to take their time in this I mean it, the machinery that was involved in this and the ingenuity and the detail and the handcrafting, and yes, I said some of the parts are actually handcrafted, which is what makes this gun so valuable. Um, just the time spent on just making sure the tolerance are so minimal that you get that you get that yeah. action to where it just it just feels like glass. Yeah, and it moves so smoothly and impressively. Yeah, again, guys, no magazine, empty chamber, the trigger pull, man. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, just absolutely amazing. Guys, if you've never shot a single action pistol, you know we have viewers out there that may not have. Right. Uh, it's a whole different world here because you've got the hammer that's already cocked. It takes very little pressure to find that break. Right. Um, trigger pulls on single action guns are inherently more accurate because it requires less movement of that trigger to pull. Thus, you're, you're, there's less opportunity to pull that gun off your sights, right. off and your once, target. Once you hit that trigger wall, you, it's just a minimal amount of pressure needed, and then that gun's gonna fly. Just a really fantastic piece. I was super excited to have the opportunity even to hold one of these in my right. hands. And uh, <laughs> Elvis and I talked before the show, and I told him, I'm gonna buy one of these before they disappear. But let's tell folks how many are available. So we had 1,000 made. Correct. 500 remained in Europe. That's correct. 500 remained in the United States. How many are left? We're looking at around 100. 100 left in the United States. So there's only 100 of these guns. And when are we going to make the next run of these? They're not going to make a next run. <laughs> I'm sorry. But they're not. 
Little secret, I knew the answer to that question right. before I asked. I, I winked at him when I was asking, because I already knew the answer to that. And that's why I am going to be an investor in the FK Bruneau Field Pistol. And I'll do a follow-up story on that and show you my personal gun, because I'm going to have one real soon. All right. Yeah, once these are sold, that's it. That's it, and uh, you guys are ex the exclusive dealer to do it. That's so, right. So uh, that's why we came to you, because you guys are obviously the best. Now, as a buyer, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a consumer, right. and I'm going to be a consumer for this gun. I'm going to buy one of these guns. I know what the, I know what it's going to cost me, but let's talk about the, the price, because that's important, right, guys? Now, here's the FK Bruno Field Pistol as it's listed on our website. You can see for BDU members, you have a price of $74.99.99. Now, if you call in today, here's the deal. If you let our customer service reps know you've seen this product on our show, we're going to do our best to give you an even better price. So here's the magic number, guys, 800-915-7709. It's on the website, BigDaddyLimited.com, 1-800-915-7709. We've already sold quite a few. They are in limited quantities. There are only 100 left. No, there's only 99 left because one of them is going to be mine. That's right. <laughs> if you'd like to own the FK Bruno Field Pistol, hit that Add to Cart button. Grab this one-of-a-kind collector's item. It is a true 2A collector's item while you can. We provided a link in the description for this exclusive deal. And if you're not a BDU member, we can fix that as well. We provide the link. They can join the BDU family, you guys, if you're not already a member, uh, to take advantage of this great product and over 300,000 other 2A-related items and access to our website. Um, Fantastic products, guns, ammo, optics, holsters, accessory gear, survival gear, with prices you can live with. And of course, Elvis, we're very proud of the VIP customer service that we provide to our members. That's so, right. There you go, guys. The FK Bruneau Field Pistol. Only 100, no, only 99 left because one of them's going to be mine. We hope you enjoyed the show, guys. This special episode of The Gun Show, we're going to close with some more great video of the BDU exclusive. F.K. Bruno Field Pistol, and thank you, Elvis. Thanks for having me. You bet. 7.5 F.K., and it was inspired by the desire to have a handgun that could be carried in a low-profile situation, deployed efficiently, and used consistently to engage threats between 50 and 100 meters. The 7.5 F.K. Field Pistol delivers accuracy, controllability, and lethality. The Field Pistol's design and manufacturing processes ensure that you'll think it's more like a high-performance vehicle than any other firearm you've ever fired, especially one with this kind of capability. Very early in the design process for the Field Pistol, it became apparent that in order to meet these design specifications, they were going to need to start with a new round and a new firearm. Partnering with some of the oldest names in the firearms design industry, some of the most established companies in Europe, the attempt was made to simply reuse existing platforms or improve upon existing ammunition, but it was found that that wasn't going to be possible. And that's why FK Bruneau, as a research and development firm, is actually as much of an ammunition company as they are a firearms manufacturer. The 7.5 FK round itself is very unique. It's a bottleneck cartridge that delivers very high pressures, but is very controllable out of the handgun. The accuracy of the FK Bruneau Field Pistol rivals that of any firearm you've ever handled before. A skilled shooter should be able to get torso hits on a human adversary at 50, 100, or even 150 meters. From arrest, a skilled shooter with the six inch barreled field pistol should be able to hold four to five inch groups consistently. And after practicing with unique butterfly sights that come standard on the field pistol, any shooter should be able to get consistent hits on a man-sized torso under field conditions at 100 meters.